Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we will see about the npm and package.json. Uh, to understand these stuffs, let us go ahead and install uh, a module called Express. Uh, Express is nothing but a web framework. We will be seeing about Express in the later later videos. Uh, so the command to install a module is npm install Express. So I just want to install this particular module in a global level. So I will do iPhone G. So if you wonder what it does is npm is nothing but a node package manager which will help us in installing the node modules from the uh, node repository. So uh, in we can see this particular express module is being installed at the global level. So we can go ahead and see where it is getting. Before that we will see your uh, so these are the list of modules which has been downloaded from the node repo and installed got installed on your local system so these global modules will be get installed in your uh, user app data roaming and node modules inside npm node module so here's the express framework which we have installed now let me go ahead and open the package.json file So if you see the important attributes of a package.json file is npm user. npm user is nothing but this is the user which you use to publish and this is the user which will be visible across all your npm repos. Then npm version. So coming down the author attribute. So who is the author for this particular uh, for module. So bugs. Coming on to the bugs, this is the place where you have to report all your uh, issues about the which you find in this particular module. So there we have a contributor attribute where you can mention all your contributors. In similar way, you also have the modifiers attribute below. So when you see on dependencies, uh, these are the dependencies which are needed for this particular module to work. Also, we have a uh, dev dependencies. It's nothing but these modules are optional for development, but not for publishing and working so the description of the particular module so this is then we see the uh, attribute called files nothing but the license file history.md readme.md uh, the starting file and the lib folder so then we have the keywords attribute the home page nothing but the home page for this particular module then we have the license it can be any license so here they are using MIT so if there is no license specified, it will be unlicensed. So as I said, we have a maintenance field. So we have the name, express and optional dependencies. Also we have the repository attribute where we can go here and see where this particular uh, source code of this particular module. As this is uh, open source under MIT. So these are the important attributes of package.json file. Now let's see further few more additional information about npm so if you wonder how this particular npm is get, from where it's getting installed so just go ahead and type npm config get registry so as you see this is the place where the modules are getting fetched even when you try to publish this is the place the modules will get published so these are the few things which is important for npm and package.json in the next video we'll go ahead and see how to generate a package.json file with the help of npm thank you